Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a review of the 2020 Honda CRV. Let's start with the front fascia of the car. As you can see, the front fascia of the car is a carryover from the 2017-2019 model. Honda claims that the front has been refreshed, but let's look at what what's refreshed about the front. At the bottom of the front, you have a brushed aluminum strip that accents the bottom of the front fascia. This is the EX trim level, and on the EX trim level, you have fag lamps that comes in the bottom of the front bumper. Also, the headlights for the 2020 year has LED turn signal and LED daytime running light. Besides that, those are the only things that are refreshed with the 2020 model year. As you can see, you have a shiny black grille accented by chrome Honda sign and also a chrome strip that goes all the way across the front grille. Now we're going to do a walk around of the car so you can see what it looks like from all sides. This is what the car looks like all the way around. The 2020 Honda CRV comes with a 1.5 inline four cylinder turbocharged engine that puts out 190 horsepower and yields a gas mileage of 28 city and 34 highway. One detail I forgot to mention earlier is that one of the revisions for the 2020 Honda CRV is that the tail lights are smoked or frosted and it comes standard with LED turn signal and brake lights at the back. The dimensions of the 2020 Honda CRV are 182 inches long by 73 inches wide and 66 to 67 inches high. The car sits on 235 60 tires. tires. This is the key for the 2020 Honda CRV. As you can see, it's got a lock button, unlock button. Of course, it's got a, a button for the trunk, and also it has a panic button. There's a button that says hold, and that button will allow you to remote start the car. All you have to do to remote start the car is press the lock button twice and hold this button that says hold. The key is a proximity key, which means that all you have to do is have the key in your hand when you go close to the vehicle. Place your hand on the inside of the lock and the door automatically opens. You just pull it to you and the door is open. Now, if you want to Close the car when you're walking away. You can simply close the door, touch the top of the door handle, which is a touch lock pad, and then the car will automatically will lock itself. The car also comes with an option where you can program the key so that when you walk away from the car, the car will automatically close itself. On the mirror, you have an LED turn signal that runs along the length of the mirror. This car also comes with blind spot monitoring system and inside the mirror you can see where it shows the blind spot monitor system. Inside the door of the 2020 Honda CRV, you have a tweeter speaker at the top of the door on the inside of the door mirror. You also have simulated wood trim that goes all along the door strip. You have a brushed aluminum strip that goes around the door handle. The door handle itself is also brushed aluminum. This is the lock button for the door, lock and unlock. And this is the button that locks the windows just in case you have kids in the car and you want to make sure that they're not able to wind the windows down. You can use this button to lock the windows. As you can see, you have the four buttons for the windows. The two front windows are one touch. You can touch them one time. The window will wind right up. Now in the bottom of the door, you can see you have a little cubby hole. 
that holds any little items you have you also have a cup holder and behind that a small cubby hole as well that you can push things behind the door okay now let's check out the inside of the 2020 crv looking inside the car when you open the door immediately to your left you will see your lane keep assistance system your forward collision warning and your traction control right as you open the door there are of course a few blank spaces in case you want to upgrade and add some other kind of equipment that is not standard in the honda crv let's take a look inside the dashboard to see as you can see you have your adaptive cruise control system you can adjust it up and down in terms of what kind of distance you want to maintain between the car in front of you and so forth on the left side of the steering wheel you have your info infotainment system this allows you to turn the volume up turn the volume down to go into the car menu to answer and end phone call it also has your audio your voice assistance system in the steering wheel on the left side So now we're going to start the car up just so you can see all you have to do to start the car up is to press the start stop button on the right side of the screen. And the car will start right up for you. Now, if you want to utilize your adaptive cruise control while you're driving all you have to do is simply press this button the adaptive cruise control will engage it will show in the dashboard you will see where it has two lanes and on the side it says adaptive cruise control on the other side it says um, lane keep assistance system when you're driving on the street in case um you're kind of like falling asleep drowsing off something the car will put you back in the lane if you are coming out of your lane this system works pretty efficiently because i've been using it all day ever since i've had this car and the system works flawlessly okay if for instance you're not paying attention and your hands come off the steering the car will beep to give you an alert to show you that you need to put your hands back on the steering on the steering wheel as you can see the display in the instrument cluster is an lcd screen and it allows you to change the configuration of how the screen is displayed to the right the honda crv comes with a standard 10 inch touch screen that is used as the display for the infotainment system now it's very simple if you click home it'll take you to all the defaults that are in the infotainment system as you can see you have audio info honda link um, phone settings and smartphone connection now this car comes with android auto and apple carplay um, standard so to connect your phone with Apple CarPlay all you have to do is plug your phone into this USB connection at the bottom of the center console now there are two USB connections at the bottom of the center console there is one on the opposite side on the right side where you can plug your phone for regular charging allows your passenger to charge your phone on the left side this one allows you to connect android auto or apple carplay now apple carplay is very easy to connect once you plug your phone in it will automatically connect and it will ask you if you want to connect always 
or just, just once okay now let's look at how the layout of the instrument of the infotainment system now this is your volume button allows you to turn your volume up and down easily while you're driving without taking your eyes off the road um, for those things buttons are very very useful now in the front you have a dual climate zone controls so the driver can change the climate if the driver is for instance cold and he wants to increase the temperature the driver can turn the temperature up um, for himself now if you notice that it's it it shows you what the temperature is on either side of the vehicle now to change if the passenger wants to change their side separately all they have to do is press this button see where it says sync sync means that both sides are uh, maintaining the same temperature if you press the button the light goes away and the passenger can adjust their side the temperature on their side separately as you can see it's changing on this side the driver side remains the same the driver can change his um, his or her side depending on what he or she wants if you want the entire front of the car to have the same temperature all you have to do is press the button again the light comes back in the button and says sync and the temperature on both sides are the same now one of the things that this car have is is its safety features if you want to turn the safety features on you can go into settings and when you go into settings it'll give you all these options if you go to bluetooth um, to vehicle then you can change all the safety settings there you can change your driver assistance system setup you can change your keyless entry access which also allows you to set the key to automatically lock the vehicle when you walk away you can change that you can change the default and set it to lock the vehicle when you walk away further down in the center console you have your emergency brake and this carries an electronic brake system so you to engage this brake all you have to do is put your foot on the brake pedal and pull it once to you and it'll engage now in the instrument cluster you can see where it shows where it shows the brake it shows that the brake is engaged right to disengage it you just have to put your foot on the brake pedal again and push this forward and it disengages below below the brake you have the brake hold button now brake hold in case you come to a stoplight you don't want to have to keep your foot on the brake all the time the brake hold button allows you to do that without keeping your foot on the brake it'll allow you to move away to pull away once you press the the accelerator however when you press the brake hold button when you come to a stoplight or you're on an incline it will automatically hold the car for you in one place the car won't move you know like when you take your foot off the brake the car starts to creep in this situation the car will not creep it'll stay in one place so you don't have to worry about creeping into the back of a car when you're not looking okay on the other side you have your start stop button the start stop as you know it allows you to save fuel you save fuel by turning off the car each time you go to you stop when you come to a stoplight the car will completely shut off all you have to do when you want to move again is take your foot off the brake and the engine will start again and the car moves off it's pretty spontaneous in this car you know it, it doesn't delay as much however you do feel when the car restarts below this you have your eco button eco basically puts it in the best fuel economy mode it allows you to save fuel by putting the car in a fuel economy mode that allows it to save gas while you're driving this is almost effortless now if you look at the dashboard you can see at the top it's a hard plastic 
this is slightly disappointing because most of the competitors they do have kind of like a soft touch plastic this if you when you think about it it's slightly soft touch but hard in comparison to competitors the steering wheel itself has kind of a soft touch plastic all the way around it and the design is pretty nice it has um chrome strips that line the steering wheel wheel kind of giving it like a luxurious look it's the same plastic continues across the dashboard all the way you have this simulated wood trim that continues all around the car it continues from the dashboard to the door over to the back seat of the car the same simulated wood um, which is a plastic that looks like wood but looks very very attractive in this car now in terms of space storage space this car has a little cubby below the center console that you can put things however my disappointment with this is that it's not big enough i tried to put my iphone 8 plus in there and it wouldn't hold i took the phone out of a case and it still wouldn't hold so this does not do a very good job if you're trying to put your phone and if you have a phone that is like six six inches um a six inch screen or something like that it will not hold very well below that you have two cup holders average size does really a good job of holding any kinds of cups and below that you have a, another little cubby hole in which you can put stuff it's pretty good storage the top of this can slide forward in case you want to cover that you don't want people to see what's in there or you want to store something on top i have tried to fit my iphone on the top of this as well my iphone 8 plus and it doesn't fit properly either so there isn't like a lot of consideration when it comes on to people having like big phones my phone did fit however across the cup holders so i was able to drop it right there while i drive now the seats of this car as you can see the ex trim level comes with cloth seat and the seats are heated seats now you can change the heated seat setting in the center console by simply pressing the button to activate the heated seat press it again to change how hot you want the seat this applies to both sides of the front seat the car comes standard with backup camera that's the sound of the reverse cross collusion warning going off when you put the car in reverse the backup camera is defaulted to a wide view here's my favorite thing about the backup camera if you want to if you're backing into a garage and you want to get a narrow view of the car all you have to do is press this button and it changes from a wide angle view to a narrow view if you're backing if you're backing up close to something like for instance when you're parallel parking and you want to make sure that you're not touching someone else's vehicle all you have to do is press this button and the camera changes so it shows you directly below the bumper of the car directly below the back bumper of the car and this means that you can back up as close as possible to someone's vehicle without necessarily touching it the backup camera is definitely one of my favorite features in the car you can slide the armrest back and forth so you can slide it back and forth and it also gives you an option to lift the armrest up armrest and that gives you a little bit more storage space the driver's seat of the car of course is power driver's seat allows you to move the seat forward move the seat backward and also move the top of the seat forward and backward the seat also comes with lumbar support so you can change the lumbar setting 
in case you're not as comfortable and you want to feel a little bit more comfortable when you're cornering the car just so you don't feel like you're sliding around that's what inside the car the back seat of a car looks like the car doors open to an exact 90 degree angle it allows you to get into the car uh, more easily and you can also put more things in the back of the car without necessarily scratching the interior of the car inside the car it comes with air conditioning vent in the back of the car that allows your passenger in the back to stay cool it also comes with two USB charging ports that allows your kids to charge their iPods or your passenger to charge their phone um, while they're sitting in the back seat as you can see the same wood trim from the front simulated wood from the front continues into the back seat the brushed aluminum trim that goes around the door handles in the front also applies to the back seat the doors have a soft touch suede material kind of a checkered suede material on it which is soft to touch and is comfortable on the bottom of the doors you have a speaker this car comes with a six speaker sound system that plays quite nice and sounds pretty good now we're gonna check out the space in the back seat this is what the space in the back seat of a car looks like I am five feet eight and I'm sitting back here I have good headroom as you can see um, I also have an enormous amount of space in front of me so if you're six feet or above six feet sitting back here you shouldn't have a problem on a long journey the front seat is adjusted to fit exactly my height in front and I still have space a lot of room here that I can adjust kind of stretch my feet out um, pretty much do anything so it's very very comfortable in the back seat now we're gonna check out the trunk of the car this model does not come with the power lift tailgate the gate lifts partially by itself so to open the the trunk all you have to do is press the trunk release button you can lift the trunk partially up and the trunk will go the rest of the way at the top of the trunk you have a shade just in case you don't want someone to see what's inside the trunk of your car you can pull the shade out like that and you can lock it up like that and it, it prevents eyes from seeing what you have inside the trunk of your car also this um, the shade itself is removable if you want to remove the shade you can simply twist it pick it up and you can take the shade out like that now, all you have to do to put it back is to squeeze it in and slide it back down now inside the trunk as you can see it has a bit of space now to fold the back seats down in case you want to get more space you simply pull this handle at the side and it'll fold the back seats forward and then you can increase the amount of space that you have in case you want to put something right through the trunk and this comes on both sides of of the trunk you can do this to fold the other side of the seat down the seat is a 60 40 split if you want to put like a ski a ski or a skateboard or something that is longer than the size of the ordinary trunk you can fold the small side down and let it pass through the trunk of the car contains tie downs 
so if you want to tie down something in the car say for instance you have something you don't want to move around you can use these little tie downs there's four of them and you can tie down anything that you want to tie down in the car if you look in the corner you will see there's another tie down right here so you can tie down anything you have in the car and don't worry that they're gonna move around the car sits on 235 60 18 tires it also comes with a brushed aluminum and gray rims now depending on the trim level of this car that you get you may get different types of rims but for the EX model this is the base rim that it comes with The car also comes with reverse cross collision warning. So for instance, if you're reversing, you'll be able, you'll hear an alarm to alert you that there's, a, there's someone walking or there's a car crossing behind you. I've never been like a big fan of the Honda brand, but the Honda CRV has really changed my perspective on this. In terms of how it stacks up against its um, competition, which is the Toyota RAV4, and other mid-size SUV, the Honda CRV is definitely an option to look for. This car starts at about $30,000 right now. So if you're in the market shopping for a Honda CRV, the EX Trim starts about $30,000. And in comparison to its competitors with all the technology that it packs, this is a reasonable price. So if you're looking for that kind of vehicle, definitely go check it out. As far as I'm concerned, it's a very good vehicle and there's a reason why people like Honda. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see more car review on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. Once again, thanks for tuning in to my channel and see you for the next review.